Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Buck Rush. Today we're going to be going over why switching your arrows could potentially help bring home some bigger bucks. So this year I've decided to switch my arrow setup. I've switched to an Easton full metal jacket arrow. But that's not the only thing that I switched this year. Talking about making some changes to arrows, both these arrows are 400 grain arrows. But the biggest difference is why I'm bringing home more deer this year is that I'm going to get better penetration. With my FMJs I've had them set up with inserts that are weighted in the front. I'm shooting 100 grain broadheads and 100 grain fill tips. But these arrows with the inserts with the front loads are going to give me much more penetration than what this normal arrow would with a level out grain and a 100 grain broadhead. When it comes to deer hunting and especially bow hunting I'm sure all of us have had some sort of run in with lack of penetration. You've not made a clean pass through. You've not hit both those lungs. You've missed that heart. This is when penetration can make all the difference and so with these that's going to give you the extra oomph to get through both lungs and to get that pass through shot. And honestly, at 20 yards, 30 yards, and even 40 yards, these arrows are still accurate, they're still fast, and most definitely, deadly. If you don't believe me, then let's watch as I test these. I got a brand new target, so it's never had arrows in it before, never been shot before, and we're going to put these up to the test, and at 20 and 30 yards, we're going to see which of these arrows are going to penetrate the most. Let's go. I got a brand new target, just bought this from Bass Pros. It's never been shot before, never had an arrow in it. So we're gonna test this out and we're gonna see how much more penetration my FMJs with weighted inserts get than my last year's arrow. Let's do it. Ah, well, as you can see, my FMJ has got about two more inches penetration than what my last arrow did. Now, it is a high shot, but remember that this arrow is a little heavier, and it's dot, my bow is dialed in to this arrow, so this arrow naturally is going to shoot a little high. But our point being is that the FMJs are actually penetrating about two inches deeper than what our last year's arrow is. And But just for scientific states, let's shoot it again. Round two of arrows, our FMJ again has went only about an inch, maybe an inch and a half this time deeper, but it's still penetrating heavier. Remember, I have 100 grain fill tips on both these arrows. The arrows are both 400 grains. They're the exact same size, exact same length. However, I have a 100 grain insert in the tip of my FMJ, and it's causing this thing to hit much harder. How about we step it back to 30 yards and see what kind of penetration we're getting from there.
So as you can see, even after 30 yards, we're still getting better penetration with the inserts. Uh, it's honestly, it's about the same. I expect it to be a little less, but uh, as of right now, we're still looking at about an inch difference between the inserts and what the normal ones are. So we'll step it on back to 40, see if there's any difference from 40. This is where it should be starting to get difficult. This is where it should start to change and we should about be the same results. So we'll see. At 40 yards, there's not much difference in the penetration. It's getting to be about the same. The FMJs are slightly deeper than what the old arrows are, uh, but it's just barely, it's close. Uh, so at 40 yards, you're gonna start getting about the same penetration. Well, it might not be the most scientifically accurate test that we probably could have done, but it's the best that we could do on hand. And I think that it speaks a lot for itself. We put up a new target had never been shot before. We put my old arrows, which are 400 grain, 100 grain tips, and no inserts into the target. Versus my new FMJs, 100 grain field tips, 400 grain arrows, with 125 grain inserts. Now, as just as you guys just saw, in most of our shots, the FMJs actually penetrated an inch and a half to two inches deep. 20 yards, we had about two inches penetration difference. The FMJs hit like a train. At 30 yards, we had about an inch and a half to two inches difference in the arrow spacing. Still, the FMJs are penetrating better. And at 40 yards, we only had about a half inch difference in our penetration between the FMJs and my old arrows. However, I do believe that it's still the best option for my hunting this year. So, is switching to weighted inserts really the best option? Is this going to get you more penetration and is this going to bring home more deer? For me, I personally think yes. This is my direction I'm going this year. I'm super confident behind it and this is enough confidence for me to go out in the field and be confident enough that I'm going to bring home a monster buck this year. Well, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope that this was enough to make you think about your arrow setup this year for deer hunting. Like and subscribe, comment down below, tell us what you think. But for now, this is the Buck Rush and we'll see you next time.